Turning now to a new development in the nearly two decade old cold case here in New York City. Two men have now been indicted in the 2002 murder of Jam Master J, the DJ for Run DMC, one of the hottest and most influential rap groups of its time. Will Gans is here now with more on that. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Mona. Yeah, Run DMC was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2009 for their pioneering musical legacy. Their influence undeniable, but for 18 years, that legacy was overshadowed by the murder of Jam Master Jay for 18 years until now. Jam Master Jay was the pioneering DJ behind hits like It's Tricky. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around, that's right on time, it's tricky. His hip-hop group Run DMC, also responsible for King of Rock. And the rap-rock collaboration Walk This Way with Aerosmith. But in 2002, Jam Master J, whose real name is Jason Mizell's trailblazing career, came to a shocking end as he was sitting on a sofa in this New York recording studio. We begin with the death of Jam Master J at the legendary rap group Run DMC, a band that has been called the Beatles of hip hop. For nearly two decades, the 37 year old's murder went unsolved. Few witnesses, no known motives, until now. Investigators announcing a major break in the cold case. Today, uh, we begin to answer that question of who killed Jason Mizell uh, and why. Federal prosecutors charging Carl Jordan and Ronald Washington for Mizell's murder, alleging the two conspired to kill him over a drug trafficking dispute and shot him point blank in the head. Mr. Jordan and Mr. Washington uh, walked into a music studio uh, in Queens where uh, Mr. Mizell and others uh, were working, essentially, uh, and hanging out. And they walked in and they murdered him in cold blood. Jam Master Jay's murder rocked the music industry, coming not long after the murders of fellow rap legends Tupac Shakur and the notorious B.I.G., both of those cases still unsolved. Jordan was arraigned yesterday and is being held in Brooklyn. He has pled not guilty. Washington is already behind bars for unrelated crimes, but he is also pleading not guilty this morning to this crime, you guys. Well, we appreciate that update. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.